Hey, it's Alan Simpson. Welcome. It's a quick video on using Google Fonts with style sheets. Um, so let me go ahead and create a web page. And this will just be a dummy page with a little bit of text in it. Um, in fact, I already typed up some text. I'll just paste that in there. Basically, I have a H1 heading and H2 heading and a couple paragraphs. Now, obviously, you can use any fonts you want, and there's hundreds of them to choose from out there. But I'm going to go ahead and pick out a pair of uh, heading fonts. I'll use this uh, infographic I have on my website. I'll give you a link to that, too, so you can get an idea of what might work well together. And so, just for the sake of example, let's say I decide to go with uh, this last one, Lotto Regular and Grand Hotel. So first I have to browse out to Google Fonts, which is fonts.google.com. And then since I already know which ones I want, I can just use this search box up here. I'll search for Lotto. And there it is, first one. And I'll click that plus sign. And it adds it to my selected fonts. I'll come over here and search for Grand. And there's the Grand Hotel I wanted to use. I'll click that one's plus sign and it adds it to the fonts. And for my general font, I'll use an Open Sans. That's optional. If you don't want to use that, you know, that's fine. Just use whatever you have in your browser already. But basically, I chose three font families here. Now, when you use CSS, you don't want to use this link thing at all. What you want to do is you want to click this at import and use this code here. Now, you don't need the style tags if you're going to an external style sheet, but let's start this example off with uh, internal style sheets. So I'm going to paste that code in between the head and head tags with the style tags. Now, if I go look at the page, nothing's changed. This is the default fonts, and that's because just importing the fonts doesn't apply them. To actually use the font, you have to use CSS font family. And if you go back to where you got the fonts, Underneath that code you copy, there's some example code with font family. Now, what I typically do is I'll copy that and just stick it right in my style sheet between a pair of uh, CSS uh, comment things so that it's there when I need it, but not do anything right off the bat. Okay, so this is just uh, these are comments I can copy paste later to apply these styles. So if I'm going to use, say, the Open Sans for my body text, I might uh, make my body style rule stick in my Open Sans font family. Now if I go look in the browser, now you can see that new font is applied. This is how it used to look. This is how it looks now. But so far I've only applied the one. All right, so now let's say I want to do my heading one with the... Uh, grand Hotel. So I'll do an H1 style rule, grab this Grand Hotel font family thing. If I could get my mouse functioning correctly. There we go. All right, and then I'll do a similar thing for H2, but I'll use the other font for that, which is this Lotto. Okay, and again, I'll just copy and paste the code out. And um, that's it. So uh, if I go look in the browser, all those fonts should be applied. And indeed they are. Okay, so now if I look at the previous one, this is how it looked when I just had the Open Sans applied, but now that I've got the H1 and H2 applied to, those headings show up differently. And you can add any other styling you want. I mean, the fact that you're using a Google font doesn't prevent you from doing other things. For example, I might put the font size for the H1s to 2EM and reduce the margin to zero, close up some of the space around it. Um, uh, actually, that's not much big. How about 2.5 EM? In other words, 2.5 times the normal size for that. And then for the H2, I'll just I'll keep the size, but go with margin zero to tighten it up. All right, and so now you can see that that applies too. Now, if you compare that to what we originally had with no styling, I mean, it's not horrible, but I think it's definitely more professional looking with the Google fonts in place. Now, if you're using an external style sheet, the code's exactly the same. You just don't need the style tags. So let me create a new file called stylesheet.css. And I'll just grab all this stylesheet code 
out of my page and stick it into the style sheet. Now you don't need to style style tags in an external style sheet, so I'll just take those out. All right. Now you got to remember there's two steps to this. I mean, if I go back and look at the page now, those uh, back to the original ugly fonts because I haven't um, linked to the style sheet yet. But to link to the style sheet, I just do a link href equal in the file name of the style sheet, and then rel equal style sheet and that's always the same, rel equals style sheet. It doesn't depend on the uh, file name. Okay? And then that should do it. All right, so look back in the browser, and there it is. So really, the main thing is after you choose your Google fonts, you want to make sure you use this at import code, which starts with at import in your CSS, rather than that standard thing, which is a link you put in the HTML. All right, thanks for watching. See you around the net. Bye-bye now.